What is happiness? For some, it is measured by how big their house is, how many fancy dishes there are on the table. For some, it is measured by a full bowl of rice, by water clean enough to drink, or simply by safely getting home. But happiness, for me, has a different meaning. Lũng Liu and Lũng Lạ, located in Dân Chủ Khmer, Hoa An District, Cao Bang Province, are two villages lying in the midst of Chon Pai Mountain, the second most highest mountain of Cao Bang Province, sitting at about 1,000 meters high. There's no proper road leading up to the two villages. Rather, the road here is what seems to be endless cliffs and stones reaching higher and higher. This road is approximately 2 kilometers long. It will take 2 hours in favorable weather conditions to be able to reach Lung Liu and Lung La villages from the foot of the mountain. After climbing dangerous cliffs past this mountainous terrain, the first few houses can be seen from afar. The living tradition of the Hmong ethnic city is for families to scatter amongst the vast of the mountain. So for neighbors to travel even from one house to another, it would take a very long walk. The more I managed to observe, the more aware I became about the hardships that the people here have to undergo every day, especially when there were no healthcare facility to be found on the mountain. Không có ai lúc đấy không có ai kiêng nữa thế là cũng phải nằm ly xuống đấy. <cười> xong đó một lúc nữa thế là sinh được nhưng mà lúc sinh được xong á cũng sợ sợ không về nhà được không biết nói thế nào nữa sợ khủng khiếp luôn đấy. The meeting gave me the first impressions about the difficulties of living here. These are the living places for totally 84 families and approximately 450 people. 100% of the community is of Hmong ethnicity and living in extreme poverty. Harvesting crops and wood from the mountain is only enough for sustained minimum living condition. Only simple crops can grow here, such as corn or pumpkin, while clean water and electricity still remain a rare commodity. On rainy days, the road became almost too slippery to walk, cutting off all means of communications with the outside world. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Due to the lack of healthcare services, I've just had to take a patient downhill for medication. The road at night is many times as hard as the road in the morning. There must be something truly incredible in these people. Not having decent traffic and transportation also greatly affects children's education and development. There's only one elementary school for the children of Lung Liu and Lung La, with a total of 77 students. To get to the school, some had to wake up as the first lights of the morning hit the mountain. Nam giờ con dậy, chuẩn bị sách vở rồi em đi học từ nhà em đến đi mất một giờ. Em đi qua hai ngọn núi. Khi em đến trường là 
6 giờ 30 Những ngày trời lạnh Em mặc áo khoác vào Trời mưa Em mang ô đi theo Em chưa bỏ học một ngày nào Spending time with and listening to the children's wishes troubled me even more about the condition of living here. However, it's impressive how much the children here enjoy studying, no matter what obstacle there is on their way to school. The way home should be the safest way for any one of us. But in Lung Liu and Lung La, the way home is full of difficulties and obstacles. Enclosed in between mountains and mountains, these two villages and the people living there had to overcome hardships day after day. As much as I've seen, I really wish to give the people here a proper road. To be able to do something big for them, for a 19 year old girl like me, might seem out of reach. With such a massive amount of effort and funding, there were times I honestly did not know if I could accomplish such a challenging task. However, we cannot know what lies at the end of the road if we don't dare to walk it. Although I know there are many obstacles ahead, I believe if I give in my all, this task can surely be accomplished. For a project of such a scale to work, I knew we would need help from every possible hand. I begin by calling for support from businesses. A discussion with executive officers of Kabang province also took place to assess the possible ways to construct this road. It worked out much better than expected, and soon we were able to begin the first steps of this project. Hôm nay chúng ta cùng có mặt ở đây để làm một cái việc rất là ý nghĩa tôi tin rằng sẽ có sự lan tỏa đối với các cái tổ chức cá nhân xin trân trọng cảm ơn hoa hậu đức thủy linh đã có mặt và giúp đỡ nhiều trong năm nay We're beginning to build the road for people in two villages, Lũng Liu and Lũng La. Although we know for sure that there will be many difficulties, I believe that with our determination and the support from the people here, the construction of the road will be finished soon and we will make the dream come true. Building a road is hard enough as it is, but to build a road on such a mountainous terrain is a hundred times harder. Cold stone had to be broken into small pieces, and every raw material, including cold stones, cement, water, and sand, had to be carried by human strength alone. Men and women, young and old alike, all took part in carrying material to the construction site. I also called for the help of the military force and volunteers from the Youth Union of Kabong Province. However, because of the rough terrain here, being able to carry raw materials up to the school was still very difficult. After spending days and nights here, I can feel how my presence has warmed everyone's hearts. And I too have also received warmth and kindness from the people here. The funding has almost ran out as only a third of the road had been completed. Not being discouraged, I continued to look for assistance from universities and used my influence on social media and online newspapers and the response was amazingly positive. Funding came from all possible walks of life. A story that deeply touched my heart is that of a mother who donated $5,000 from the charity fund of her son who passed away because of cancer six months ago. I was touched by seeing how far my message has been spread, and soon enough, the budget has been full again. 
with the main road completed, from now on, there will be less hardship. Now, children can go to school happily, women and patients can now travel without worries. But for me, to see the smiles on everyone's faces and to know that this road will be here for the good of many years and many generations to come, is the greatest happiness of all. I believe beauty lies where we care to find it, and true beauty can be found in little sparks of joy in the eyes of those I hold dear. Looking back through this journey, now I understand that happiness is not something you find, it's something that you create. And to see the smiles on the children's faces, to see the people of Lung Liu and Lung La fighting and winning against such adversity is truly the greatest beauty of all.